For the Emperor! Welcome back to Bot Wars. My goodness, do I have a surprise for you today. Something that we've been working on for a while. Now, you probably saw the samurai bots. They are awesome. But I believe we have something that's even cooler. I'm a little biased, but I believe it's even cooler than the samurai bots. Let me show you. Now, we're gonna start where all stories start. The beginning, except for the stories that don't start there and they start like in the middle or the end, but you know what, we're not talking about those ones today. Nay. Hey Roomba bot, how are you doing today? But, moral of the story, we, you have to be Fromptech, the blue faction. We're just gonna rush a tier 2 barracks. Dang, man. Don't you love how quickly they grab those little Fromp coins, aka the currency of the game? But we're gonna need to get a tier 3 barracks because that's where we get, well, let's just call them the totally accurate space marine bots. You know, they're totally not totally accurate space marine bots. But in our hearts, they kind of are, you know? So if you look on the newly printed minimap on the upper right side, you can see that we own all of our spawn points, all of our barracks, as well as our defensive turret right here. Now we're gonna go for this one up on this cliff. And then I feel like once we have that, we have a pretty good ability to keep kind of like holding down this area. And we don't really have to worry too much because we're going to be spawning in units. Now, one of the things that I think would be very wise is usually putting a turret up on it. I love that. Like, that's pretty much one of the fundamental game loops of Bot Wars is basically user choice. Like, how do you want to upgrade your turrets? How do you want to upgrade your barracks? barracks? What units? Do you want to spawn? All right, we need to get this explosive one out of here, though. So we're just gonna move it over here to an area where, excuse me, if you're in there, you may want to leave because it's gonna. Uh, guys, get away from there! Jeez. Oh yeah, did you have you guys seen the new engineering bot? There we go, <laughs> and it, it blew up this guy. But I do think it's funny because, like, you know how um, Space Marine Two, like Space Marine, is a great and classic game from like mid to late 2000s. Hold on. And what I mean by that is actually the year 2011. <laughs> but they just announced a second one, which I think is like pretty incredible. Cause that is, I think by many, considered the best Warhammer 40K video game. Like I still think that the best Warhammer all game is like Total War Warhammer 2. What's up Rocket Boys? Yeah, they're pumping out from the tier two barracks. I think it might be wise to get a unit printer. Look at that. I love seeing him like print out and then just like m start marching out. Yeah, you too, straggler. You can't get out of service or we'll court martial you. Scrap you for parts. Now we need, oh my gosh. We need a little bit more fromp coin here. So let's just roll down for a little bit of expedience sake. We're almost there. My guys are picking up the money. We're at 195. I feel like we're gonna be there momentarily. I think I can start marching back to the tier two barracks, which needs to become a tier three. So in a sense, like how I'm distributing my money, other than spending on a defensive turret on top of that tier two barracks, or rather tier one barracks, I've basically put all of my money into here, but I really believe it's gonna be worth it. So here we go. I was looking at the wrong one. I was like, what do you mean upgraded tier two? So Big Bot in his own right is awesome, but we've been trying to create other units and I think we've been succeeding that are also pretty dang awesome. So where it's not like I will always choose Big Bot, you know, now it's like, well, do I get the samurai? Do I get my faction specific unit, which is where we're kind of going right now. This is the tier three barracks. Guess what comes out of this? First off, we, we have a full squad, so we're not able to purchase any new guys. And we honestly don't have any more experience either. So I could do this a few different ways. What's up, Mr. Sniper? You taking cover? I love the sounds of their sniper rifles. Look at them just firing away. Hey, look, I'm a sniper too. I mean, not very good. And we're gonna need the money to spawn in. The Space Marine bots, essentially, like the totally aggroed Space Marine bots, they don't really have a name yet. And I, I think we need one, you know? Let's go ahead 
in the increase the monetary value we need one more point so we will go with oh man there's so many decisions nothing because we're still at zero skill points Oh man, I love this rifle. One last murder at a time. Now I'm the new engineer bot. Hey, <laughs> get your, look at his hammer and his little mohawk. He's so cute. Now he's dead, but he was pretty cute. All right, everybody regroup on me. All alive bots. Hey guys, stop dancing. <laughs> it's not February, it's not Valentine's Day yet. <laughs> I can use my melee weapon as a chainsaw. Let's see if we can't get some of them. <laughs> I'm actually surprised I'm alive. I'm surprised most of my squad is alive. Duh! Oh god. Okay, well, we succeeded. We got a lot of money, and we wiped out our squad. Furthermore, we leveled up quite a bit. So what we can do with that is, well... Health regeneration, smart money. We pick up money, we get XP, which is pretty powerful. But health regeneration is always good. So to get that, we're gonna need... Max HP, money up, boom, there we go. And we still have 11 skill points left. Let's increase our squad size. And damage is always good. All right, here we go. I feel like that is more than adequate. All right, so currently the UI, which needs to be overhauled in general, like it looks like the samurai bot, but look at that. What's up, big guy? All right, so now what does it feel like to be now, just listen to this. That sounds like something powerful. So you know it's gonna kick like a freaking mule. Look at it. It's gorgeous for the emperor. <laughs> now, we're calling them dreadbots, but honestly, I'm kind of curious. Like, we need names for are like uber bots and we need ideas for what the other factions their uber bots should be now that's a shield bot so that's gonna be a little tricky oh my gosh okay i'm getting torn up <laughs> look at how much health i have and i've got regeneration <laughs> all right i don't even think my like i can like one hit almost anything except for the dang shield bot can i hit him in the feet Oh god, he's coming. <laughs> yeah, there we go. His shield can repel firepower of this magnitude. Yes! More of these guys, please. Yeah, and you're like, wait a minute. They've got rockets? Oh, of course they've got rockets. Now you gotta hold it down. But man, I feel like a freaking one-man army. Excuse me, little bot. Give me that from. Give me that front coin. I need to actually probably spend a little bit of time increasing our money cap and max HP because I had one hit point and I just felt like it it was good. All right, this gun up there is really distracting. See if I can't hit it. Let's switch into All right. I'm locked onto it. I hit the ground right in front of it, but I still did a little bit of damage. There's a decent heat. Okay. All right, charging, fire. We could take it out. I think with like two or three hits, that would be more than enough. Oh man, we almost took it out. It's got like 6% health, but it's regenerating. This should be, yes, the last hit that's needed. Gosh, I love this guy's animation. He's just big and chonky and feels big and chonky, man. A one-bot army. Just, like, destroying everything. Oh my god, look, it's a conga line of death. Hey, guys! You're all gonna die! <laughs> this is incredible! Now, he might need to be balanced out a little bit. All right, you know what I should do? I'm gonna try this gun out. I'm gonna wait for a bunch of them to just like get on those steps and I'm just gonna blast them. Hey, stop that. Hello? All right, here we go. 
Yes. <laughs> and then any survivors. Okay, so I'm gonna see if I can just one man show this. What's up, sniper? Hey guys. Now we need a name for this gun, because right now it's sort of like the definitely not the bolter. Oh my god. <laughs> From coins going everywhere. Oh my god. The flamethrower is like melting me. I think I'm gonna hit it with- I, I'm gonna need to hit it with some indirect fire from this black- like... Did it work? Oh man, I'm actually like dropping to like almost half health. <laughs> that is how powerful this thing is. Alright, I'm gonna try to blast it like right behind it. It deflected off the shield! But he is almost dead. So, even the most powerful units in the game have counters. You know what? There we go. You're dead. But as far as destroying buildings, that's really not their specialty. Because this thing has a pretty long reload, and it only did like 8%. So, it's sort of like one of the ways we're kind of handling it. But what do you guys think? Do you like the name The Dreadbot? Or do you think it should be named something different? Nope. Not today, fella. Now, I think what we need to do is, since we have so much money, I think we just need to start printing out dreadbots all over the place. So go tier 2 barracks, tier 3 barracks, and then get the big boys out there. Because look at that. They'll automatically like, oh, there's a turret. Maybe I should use my, you know, rocket pod. And man, these have to have, like, some of the coolest sound effects in the game. But, I mean, they cost 100 Fromp coin. <laughs> oh, yeah, I should probably get out of your way if you're aiming over that turret. All right, a shield bot is coming. Oh, he's, he's looking the wrong way, so that allowed me to hit him. Oh, man. Yeah, we're able to take down the turret, but then, like, they've got enough units up there that they're able to respawn. Who's throwing grenades? You're not supposed to be here. <laughs> Beautiful! <laughs> oh no, I hate you guys. I honestly think this is like one of the most fun units in the game. Now, if we could get it so like you could upgrade them even further, maybe give their like backpacks jetpack ability. Uh, right now it'd probably be overpowered, but man, would that be fun. So the question is, once again, what units should we work on next? Oh my god, flamethrowers. And right now, they definitely have like too much health. Especially when it generates. But I mean, look at what I did, man. We have pretty powerful health regeneration. And we upgraded hit points a little bit. But even still, I've got 56 skill points. So, <laughs> I could... I could just basically do whatever I wanted. But one of the things we definitely need to do is increase our money cap. 1500 That might be the most I've done, like, in an actual game. There we go. Direct hit on the shield bot. Yeah. Because these green guys, the Dross, they need their tier 3 unit. Because only Geomedics, the red guys, and Fromtech, the blue guys, have theirs. There's still other factions, and at some point we could put more of the specialist in, you know, faction, unique faction tier 3 units. What's the fastest way to say that? The other good thing is you can just keep running forever because you don't have stamina. Like, the underling bots. For the Emperor! Brother! <laughs> I'm really excited, obviously. Oh my, that probably should have hurt me. 
Oh, it's you again. Alright, we're out of here. Yeah, jump jetpacks would be awesome. I am literally a one-man army. I think we need to balance these guys. Because I have 8,450 health, and I've got health regeneration. So we're just a little bit too powerful. I can run pretty much anywhere I want. Although the balance being that I can't easily destroy bases and towers. I can do it, but it's definitely not easy. Oh, look who's got a big bot. Look at what my gun does to big bot. Not enough. Okay, big bot is still the biggest bot. This isn't going well. <laughs> Let's hit him with a blast. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I just missed, but that did not do a lot of hit points. We gotta get out of here. But anyway, keep in mind that we do have a sale coming up for Bot Wars. If you're waiting for a sale or you can check it out now on Steam, we also have it available on itch.io. I'm gonna put both of those links in the video description below. Let me know what you guys think. Because I think these are one of the coolest units we have made in Bot Wars. We're also currently talking amongst ourselves in the team about what game we want to make next. So anyway, lots of exciting stuff is happening. And I can't wait to share it with you guys as the time comes. So anyway, thanks for watching. Check out Bot Wars on Steam or Itch. And I'll see you guys in the next video.